Hello, Gladys. Hi guys, how are you? Hi, hello, good night. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Okay. How are you guys doing? Any any questions, any problems with the platform? No, the platform is working well. Okay. 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 What about for the exercises? Did you have any problems with any of the exercises? Are you doing okay with them? Sorry, I missed the class yesterday, teacher. No problem. It happens. Sometimes it's, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. But today we're going to review a little bit and make sure that it's okay and then we'll continue on with the new topics. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Did anybody have any questions or any uh, issues with the platform or with the exercises for the relative pronouns? That's okay, teacher. Okay, all right, thank you. I was getting a little worried. Nobody says everybody's quiet. I said, hmm, okay. <laughs> or we have a lot of problems or we have no problems. <laughs> it's like when you say, do you understand? And everybody's, hmm, like corchata. <laughs> teacher, today we, we want to work in the 1.3 video. Correct. We're going to continue. Well, actually, yesterday we saw the 1.3 video. If you remember, yesterday was the uh, uh, the 1.3 video was about the guys that, that, okay, or the guys who, okay. So I'll show you my screen so that in, in case you don't remember, like, give me a second. It should be, Okay. This was the, the yesterday, the 1.3. This is where we finished our class. Um, it was about the relative pronouns of how we use these and why we use them, okay? The idea of the relative pronouns is to talk about a person or a thing and to give your opinion or give information about them. So for example, here we have, I like guys, obviously, but you don't like all guys, so you want to be specific. I like guys who aren't too serious. Okay, so for me, for example, or sorry, not for me, for you, do you like pizza? Yeah, I like. Okay, what kind of pizza do you like, Eugenia? With mu mushrooms. Okay, exactly, that's how we use relative pronouns. I like pizzas that have mushrooms. Okay. So the idea for relative pronouns is to give us this extra additional information, okay? Or to give us that, that specific information to help us understand clearly, okay? Okay, so um, let's see, we have a lot of people here. Um, let's see, we have Veronica. Veronica, are you here? Maybe not here. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I am. I excellent, am. excellent, Veronica. Excellent. I, I have a problem with my audio. That's why. I imagine. I imagine, Veronica. Okay. Veronica, do you like movies? Yes, I do. What kind of movies do you like? Comic, uh, the comic movies? Comedies. Okay. Um, okay, perfect. This is another opportunity to use relative pronouns. I like movies. Yes, we understand. But what movies? Ah, I like movies that are comedies. I like movies that make me laugh. 
I like movies that maybe you have a specific actor that that has I don't know Adam Sandler. This okay. is the idea. Now I am using the idea I like, but it's not necessary only I like. It can be I dislike, I hate, I love, I enjoy, I want. Okay. Gladys, good evening. Hi, everyone. Hello. Gladys, do you have a house? A house? Yeah, a house. Do you have a house? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Would you like another house? Mm, yeah, just for me. I okay. would like. That's another opportunity to use exactly this, the relative pronouns. I would like another house. Excellent. But we don't understand more it's what kind of house. Uh, I would like mm -hmm. another house. That is just for me. Or yeah, maybe, for me. exactly. Or maybe Gladys says, I would like a house that has a swimming pool. I don't know. I don't know what Gladys wants. But this is the idea. I don't know if this is okay. Does this help everybody? Or do you need more examples? Maybe we need to make some samples with, yes. with the old sentence. Yes, first, first is to make sure that you understand because in one moment we're going to make groups and, and we're going to have the opportunity to practice. But first is clear why we use it and how to use it. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> okay, let me explain one more time. I'm going to have Arturo. Arturo uh, Flores, he's there. Okay. And Arturo is going to help me out, okay? So, I, well, many times is, would you, you use it to describe, to give your point of view, okay? So when I say, Arturo, eh, uh, how's your job, okay? And he says, ah, it's okay, it's good, I don't know. Arturo, how's your job? Uh, it's fine, I, I think it's not too busy today. Okay, good. What? What kind of days do you like in your job? What kind of days do you do you enjoy? Um, I like to call my customers and... Okay, let me pause right there, Arturo, to help Carlos. That's when we use it, Carlos. I like, I like days, and then that's when we use this expression. He, he gave his opinion, okay, I like, okay, or I enjoy, or I want days that I call my customers. Okay, go ahead Arturo, sorry to interrupt you there. I just wanted to make sure it's clear so that we understand why we use it. We use it to, one, give your opinion, positive or negative, and second, be specific about why that opinion. Okay, so think about it like this uh, for, for those that are still a little confused. The first part is the subject. The second part is the reason. So what is the subject? No. The days. I like days. Ah, but not all days, right, Cart? Right, Arturo? You don't like all the days. What days do you like? I like the most days that I I try with with call my my old clients. Okay. And that's the second part. That's the idea. The first part is the subject. I like days. The second part is when we use that or who. If it's about a person, we use who. If it's about a situation or a thing, we use that. So always use that if you are confused, Carlos, because that can be for people or things. But who can only be for people. Okay. Does that help you, Carlos? You want to try, uh, try one example with me before we make the groups. Try one example with me. Maybe, maybe with, with the same example. I like days. I prefer Sundays. <laughs> maybe. Well, no, not exactly because Sunday is specific. Okay. I like days. Okay. Which day, what do you do on those days? I like what? days. Yes, what do you, what activities or what happens on those days that you like? Oh, 
I like uh, the busy days, maybe. Okay, fine. I like days that are busy. Or, for I example... Like I like busy days. Exactly. Or in the case of you, Carlos, I like days that I can relax. For example, Sunday. Like this. This I is like how days. you would use it. Mm -hmm. Then I like uh, relax days. Exactly. Exactly. I like days... And then that's when we use the idea for who or that. Okay, I like days I can relax. I like days that I can relax. Okay. Okay, don't worry because in this moment we are going to practice. We are going to make groups, um, small groups. But uh, one more time before we go to the groups, uh, anybody have another question or everybody is okay for? Obviously, in, in, we need to practice, but do you understand how to use it and why we use it? That's the important. Hello, oh. teacher. Hello, Elizabeth. I just have a question. I just got uh, into the, the platform. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you're going to continue um, starting the same um, subject than yesterday. No, no, this is just to help us in order to begin the next one. This is the 1.3, which is the relative pronouns. This is the last part. Um, only we need to make sure that you can use it orally. And then today we're going to go ahead and continue, which is the personal characteristics of adjective, which is 1.5 and 1.6. Okay. 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 So right now it's, we're just going to take a few minutes and we're going to practice using this. Remember the topic whatever you want. Uh, I don't like sodas. What kind of sodas? I don't like uh, jobs. What kind of jobs? Whatever the subject is. And then the second part is that whatever the complement is, the action. Okay. We're going to have eight minutes from now to 9.20 to practice with our groups. And then we're going to come back and we're going to continue with today's topics and continuing in the platform. Okay. All right. Remember to accept the invitation so that way you can go into the small groups. Kevin, Jan, are you having any problems? Jader? Hello, teacher. Did you receive the invitation, Jader? Okay, in this moment, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Making sure. Okay. Basically, I can say I really love proposals. Uh, basically, I love them because uh, they are from El Salvador, so basically for me is the is the uh, ideal food that I can eat. So uh, specifically, I like pupusas that have cheese. Okay. Uh, what about you, Arturo? Well, I really love uh, the Chinese food because I I love when my food is kind of sweet and salt. Okay. And Sylvia? Arturo, check the chat. Oh, thank you. I really love that that have that has um, Kind of, 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 of sugar or sweet and, and salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the same for everybody else. It's just like the, the beginning. I really love food, that, and whatever your compliment, if the topic is food or whatever else. I really love movies. I really love music, whatever you want. Remember, the first part is the subject, and the second part is the reason, the why. 
Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, um, hi, teacher. Hello, <laughs> we hello. I'm discussing what we have to do for the exercise. Okay. Sorry, because I'm lost uh, for the, I missed the yesterday class and Rocio tell us it's late for the class. Too. No problem, no problem. I, I, Omi, are you there? Omi, explain us. Ah, okay, excellent. That's what I like about Omi. Okay. Yeah. But it's, it's better, teacher, that you can say uh, more information about these, these, these actions or the activity for today. Okay, Omi. The, the idea is that we are thinking of, uh, we are using this topic in two parts. The first part is the subject. For example, I like, um, I like food. And the second part is the complement of the reason, the explanation why. That's how we use it. So it can be used for people or for things. So as an example, I like people okay, who are funny. Or I like movies that are scary. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can begin to talk more and more and more. You can give more reasons, okay? Okay, as an example, I say I like, um, I don't know, I like food that, uh, that is uh, very spicy with jalapenos and black peppers, okay? Or, or you can talk about uh, things in general. I like, uh, I like, um, I like my coworkers, who I can talk to and are honest and don't uh, stab me in the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one more time, the first part of the sentence is the subject. It can be a person or a thing. If it's if it's a person, we use the word who. If it's a thing, we use that. Who oh, and that? Yes, these are the main, the two main words that we use. Okay. Now, the good is that that can be used for both. Can be used for people or can be used for things. But who can only be used for people? So if you are confused, always use that because that is going to be correct. Yeah, I saw in the exercise in, in the video shows uh, something like I enjoy people that I can have fun yeah exactly and in, in in these circumstances you use that correct because that mm -hmm. is always correct eugenia that is for okay. both for people and for things and people you can use when you are describing a characteristic about that person yes yes but normally it's in general i so for example uh i like people who or i like a girlfriend that okay or i like a, a boyfriend who so when you're talking about a characteristic of a person but in general terms like uh like is funny or angry or nice or cooks well something like this okay then you it is necessary to express a which I go like or just something do you like? No, no, it's no word, no, no necessary word, Rocio. Only uh, what your opinion is, what the subject is, okay? So whatever you're talking about, uh, you can say uh, food, movies, uh, countries, trips, vacations, okay? I like countries that are clean, okay? Mm. I like people who are uh, who are kind, just in general. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Um. All right, guys. I, was that a little bit better? Did that help you out? Yeah. Are there any questions still or any uh, anything that's not clear? Could you explain again when we use the who or that? Of course. Because we used uh, an animal 
uh, apply in a sentence, but I feel confused when, when we need to use the, the who or that, please. It's in the chat. So, who is exclusively for people? You cannot use it in other circumstances, only for people. That can be used for people or things. So, normally, people get used to using who for people and that for things. But it does not mean it's incorrect to use that for people. Yes, it is correct. Maybe not so common, but it is correct grammatically and it is correct for or common also when you are speaking. Okay, but the who is exclusive for people. I know one of the people had another question. Are there other words that we use? Okay, yes, there are. But in this moment, we are only using who or that. There are other words, for example, people use where, or which, which, or, mm -hmm, things like this. But in today's or in, in this these classes, we're only looking at who or that. But yes, the other words do exist as well. Mm -hmm. And the same thing, the others are exclusive for what they have. So for example, where is exclusive for location, for places, okay? which is exclusive for objects, for selections, okay, for choices. Who is exclusive for people? But with that, we have two choices, people or things. Any other questions? No question. Okay. Oh, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Well, great. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at personalities. Okay, so if somebody was to describe, yesterday we started to talk a little bit about this, about a personality and how you describe somebody. Um, just think about your coworkers, people you work with, people that uh, maybe are your classmates, things like this. How would you describe them? What words do you use to describe people? You don't have to say the name of the person, but just think about what words do you use to describe people? So an adjective is like funny, uh, kind, easy going, something like that. Interesting. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Friendly. Bored. Okay. okay. Friendly, bored, kind, nice. Tired to hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. What else? Are there any other words that maybe what would be some negative words that you could use to describe somebody? Stealing. I, I'm sorry, say again. Stealing. Stealing? Like temperam temperamental. Excellent. Or greedy. Okay. Lazy. Uh -huh. Lazy. Uh -huh. Lazy. Okay. Ah, I see that we do know a lot of ways to describe people negatively. Okay. okay. La lazy people. <laughs> lazy people. Words. Lazy people. Okay. All bad right. Words. Oh, bad man. Okay. All right. MF. <laughs> Angry, Angry people. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, okay. Noisy, so, annoying. Okay. Noisy, annoying. Stingy, stingy, modest, sociable, supportive. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Very good. So we have some positive and some negatives in there. That's excellent. Okay. So what's the idea? The idea for today or the idea for the next exercise is simply this. Okay. And we're talking about how to describe the people. Okay. And what words do we use for to describe these people? Well, many times we have to use, uh, you know, common words, lazy, kind, nice, uh, friendly, things like this. But another times we use negatives, right? Um, today, I'm going to show you a little bit of some vocabulary and we'll take a look. These are for personalities. Okay. Should be able to see. Hang on. Okay, 
Can you see my screen? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, okay. Teacher. All right. Um, this is part of the video. I'm going to put just a little bit to make it easier. All right. There we go. And the idea is here we have some words. Okay. The words are easygoing, egotistical, inflexible, modest, sociable, stingy, supportive, temperamental, and unreliable. Now, I know some of you said those, which is excellent, and that indicates that you watched the video before the class, and you, are, you already had some of these words ready for you, which is great. Now, let's take a look at these different words. Um, who would like to read number one and two? Me and... Okay, Eugenia, please read number one and two. Is it going... An easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Egotistical, an egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of him, herself. Okay, thank you very much, Eugenia. Only in the second word, it's not like um, the phonetic. It's actually E. The Ego. E yes, correct, correct. Thanks. Egotistical. Very good, Eugenia. Okay, great. Who would like to read the next ones, numbers three and four? Me, teacher. Please. Mm -hmm. Inflexible. An inflexible person inflexible. is someone. Inflexible? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flexible and inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and it is suborned. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag, brag about is or or his or her, her accomplishment brought about his or her accomplishments okay thank you very much Romulo only two words we need to make sure that are pronounced correctly and that is the word inflexible inflexible okay and the other word what the last word in that sentence is stubborn stubborn okay before we continue, the, our, the definition of these four words, is it clear for everybody? Do you understand what is easygoing, egotistical, inflexible, and modest? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, great. Who can read numbers five and six? Me, Jader. Okay, please. Sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. A single, a single person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Okay, thank you. Only the pronunciation for number six, stingy. Stingy. Okay. Okay. All right. And who can read the last three, seven, eight, and nine? Meditage. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay, uh, so supporty. A supportive person is uh, someone who is helpful and encouraging. Um, temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular uh, moods. And uh, Unreliable, unreliable. Uh, unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what what he or she uh, promises. Okay, very good, Elizabeth. Only two words we need to clarify. It's in number nine. Mm -hmm. Unreliable. Unreliable. Yeah. Yes, unreliable. Good. Unreliable. And also the last word is pronounced with a T. Promised. 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 Good. Very good. Okay. Now, do you understand, uh, for, the, for everyone, does everybody understand number five, six, seven, eight, and nine, the definitions of these words? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. So, this is the idea. The idea for a little bit of expansion of vocabulary because our topic is personalities. This is 1.6. We're looking at personalities, okay? Now that these vocabularies are clear, we're gonna take a moment and I'm gonna share this video with you, okay? It's just looking at, hang on, let me go a little bit ahead. 
It's just talking about it. Okay. Sorry, did someone have a question? Okay. No, no question. Sorry, teacher, but I can't hear you what you're saying. Oh, I just asked if you had a question or, or if everything was clear. About the vocabulary, everything is clear. Okay. And okay, great. Listen to an audio program at this time. And as I mentioned, we need to be familiar with these adjectives in order for us to answer the questions from this audio program. What we're going to do in this audio program is we're going to listen to a description of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual. So let's listen to that audio program at this time. Okay, so to make sure it's clear, we are going to listen to an audio. They're going to describe the three people. They're going to describe Andrea, they're going to describe James, and they're going to describe Mr. Johnson. Please listen and choose which sentence is the best to describe each person. It's okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties. And there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Hi. So, we heard the three people, the description of the three people, what do you think? Let me, let me put it there, see it? Okay. So for Andrea, what The first one is uh -huh. egotistical and stingy. Okay. Egotistical. Ego, yes, exactly. Egotistical and stingy. Okay. <laughs> Great. What about for James? What can we say about James? James, James is pushable. Ah, everyone understood that one, huh? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> talked on that. Excellent. That's excellent. Sociable and easygoing. Great. And what about Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson is who is temperamental and unreliable. Perfect. Unreliable. 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 Okay. Unreliable. Unreliable. That's right, Mary. Unreliable. It's unreliable. 
mm -hmm. unreliable. Correct, correct. Okay, so um, the next one, this next exercise, the 1.7, is actually you're gonna have to uh, answer it and it's about the audio program, okay? So if you don't remember the audio, you can always go back here to 1.6 in the, in the platform and then you answer it, okay? In this moment, what we're going to do is we're gonna practice trying to use this vocabulary and other words to describe people. Okay, so when we describe people, remember, you give an explanation of who they are and why. How is this going to help you? Well, this is going to help you specifically when you go to a job interview. And when they go to the job interview and they say, ah, they say, hey, tell me about you yourself. Describe? Mm -hmm. describe you. How would you describe yourself? Tell me about yourself. Okay, this is how you use it. Okay, I am reliable. Yes, but nobody likes to hear reliable and, <laughs> and then not have an example. This is the common word. Or in some other places, they ask you, for example, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Very common question, very typical. But you have to be able to prepare to describe it and defend it. That's what we're going to do. It's not only describe. Romulus says, ah, oh, I'm a very happy person. But he says it with a voice like, ah. Oh, I'm very happy and, and, ah, no, 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 you need to give the example. You don't sound like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, you don't, you don't sound happy. I don't know, but you don't sound too happy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a few moments right now and we're going to imagine that your partner is, or you are at the job interview and they're asking you, the question is very simple. Tell me about yourself. Okay. Describe yourself or what should I know about you? Okay, or what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? This is the ideas, because that is the function of this. The idea of describing personalities is this. It's even if we have to lie. <laughs> even if you have to lie. Yeah, and then they say, I, and then you say, and what is your weakness? I'm a liar. I lie about everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's clear what is the objective in the, in the activity in our groups? Yes, teacher. Okay. okay, perfect. We're going to have new partners, so let's try. Let's make them. Remember, accept the invitation. If not, you, you won't be able to join the group, so you have to accept the invitation. Rocio, you okay? Rocio? <laughs> Maybe I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, I won't say this in, in an interview, but. Lie, lie, Elizabeth, lie, <laughs> lie, Elizabeth, lie. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can. <laughs> um, no, I, I am um, a very um, temperamental person. I consider myself a, a, a temperamental person. <laughs> and, um, but um, you know, cause I, I sometimes I, I got um, angry very easily. <laughs> um, and, uh, but yeah, I, at the same time, I'm, I consider myself a, a friendly person too. Just don't, you know, uh, <laughs> Just don't make me angry. <laughs> make me angry. <laughs> I, yeah. I, okay. Okay. 
friendly but temperamental. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> is, 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 is that excuse? <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. Good, good. No. Oh. No? Hello? Uh huh. Okay, go ahead. Tell me about yourselves. Remember, that's the idea. Christina is very nervous and and no, I'm sorry, I have I have <laughs> make, okay, no, my, okay. my connection is bad tonight. Ah, sorry. okay. No, no problem. No problem, Christina. No problem. It happens sometimes. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah. Now, no. If you're speaking now, Christina, I can't hear you. What? Yes, try again. Okay, okay. Let me see. Wait, wait. I feel really happy and you look someone like that. who <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you a lot. You and look really I, happy, right? Yeah. right. <laughs> Very true. It, it's too hard to make me feel angry or sad. Okay. And because really? I always have just uh, a positive um, men mentalist and and try to think uh allowed in in the you just the to see the good side of the things yeah that's a good the, quality the, in yeah, your personality that's, yeah that's okay thank you i i really I, feel I, that i to keep it yeah to keep it <laughs> yeah. the whole life and i think i i am um, that that make me feel about that is my my family and my closer friends, and and have a good time with them. And, and I, I don't know, I am someone who really live uh, his life in 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 the best way that uh, that I can. Okay, it's okay. To enjoy the you, time. You enjoy, you enjoy the life, right? Yeah, yeah the good side of the idea. life. The good side of the life. Yeah, that's a great uh, quality because uh, yeah. I have that too, but I just send the minimal because on uh, we go to a paneca. Okay. Oh, a paneca is beautiful. Yeah. 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 It's nice. Um, the clima. I se me olvidó el clima. Weather? Weather. Weather. <laughs> the weather. The weather is very, very nice. Yeah. That's my life. <laughs> what about you, Jeder? Um, uh, Sometimes uh, I visit any, uh, any mountain and walk uh, El Pital, um, any mountain, mountain, volcano. This is my my trip prefer. Your hobby. <laughs> our, our dominate at, at but at the end it it's really cool. So I consider sociable. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have a, a how do you say, uh, um, advantage here? Uh -huh. Because this is a group man, uh, a men's group or group men. And otherwise, uh -huh. uh, always we have an advantage because um, you are a man and Jen are, is a man. You, you, uh -huh. you are a man. Yeah, it's different where you are talking with the, with the, with the girl. <laughs> 
<laughs> in my case, I, I feel nervous when I when I when I talk uh, with a girl in the first time, always. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In the end, finally, I I, I, I am uh, especially if he, if she is your crush. <laughs> But yeah. it's only you, man. I am really nervous. I can. You are a travel person, Patricia. I guess. <laughs> It's are necessary. You a <laughs> It's necessary for my <laughs> life. <laughs> for example, I, I think a, a new travel. travel. I, I'm, but I'm scared for the time. I don't know specific things so that's why I, i told you that i'm really talkative because i really enjoy to to talk with the people try to improve in my my language it's like in spanish if you read a lot you will know a lot of uh, words also and if you speak you will uh, like uh, make them part of your vocabulary basically even if you don't know the the specific uh, meaning for that words So that's yes. why I say I'm I'm talkative <laughs> and I'm really sociable. I'm um, I'm trying to I'm trying to read and mm -hmm. listen, um, see movies or watch series on Netflix using just the, the translator as mm -hmm. as minimal po the possible I can. My mm -hmm. hearing it's my listening is pretty cool. But my fluency in this moment, uh, as I told you, that's the reason when, why I'm trying to take it classes again, because my vocabulary, my vocabulary, it's it's um, minimum in this moment. A lot of the grammar is lost. Yeah, but basically But that's why English corporativo works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, it's really Extra common. points, but... right, teacher? Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> a little, sp a little sponsorship. Uh -huh. A little sponsorship. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ex extra points. Yeah. Extra points. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm not yo yo. I'm not yo yo. <laughs> a, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Basically, you you can notice that I'm easy going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me too. It's it's pretty nice. I have I have been seeing an app on my cell phone that that is Tavem. Have you seen mm -hmm. Have you seen it? No. Mm. It's for you. Um, you can use it for practicing. Um, it's for language exchange. Um, someone can teach you English, and you can teach them Spanish for just for talking, for example, just for practicing. It's like a social media. Um, yes, but just for uh, for languages, for for oh. language exchange. Its name is Tavim. Ah, tandem. Yes, I know that 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 ah. Yes, I used for uh, well, I use it for uh, learn Portuguese. Yeah, it's I it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Cause sometimes there are people that uh, really want to learn uh, about a specific language. So if you can help them, they speak at. Uh, Uh, yes, Tadem. teacher. No, Tadem is, is not Tadem. Um, let me let me check. Uh -huh, let me check too. It's Tandem. It's Tandem. It's Tandem. Uh -huh. it, 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 there is an N between the A and D. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like that. Tandem. Yeah, that's that's right. Yes, I, I was talking like six months ago with a, a Portuguese girl, I think, or I don't know if Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. So the okay. 
Are any questions about any of the vocabulary or how to use it to describe yourself, um, describe uh, your personality, things about you? No? Okay. I think everything is clear. Okay. Everything is clear, teacher. Great, great. Now, this is for those that haven't done, I know several of you already have um, because I already checked and many of you have already done the 1.8, okay? The 1.8 is uh, continuing the same topic. Remember, this is the 1.6, the personality, and then uh, 1.7 is just a, according to the audio. Remember, listen one more time and choose which is the best statement to describe the people. And then 1.8 is similar about what we just did, but instead of talking about yourself, it's about talking about your best friend, right? So you have, here we have many people that already have answered, a very nice friend, my best friend, um, you know, writing about a best friend, and we have many different comments about that. So the only thing that you need to remember is that when you talk about another person or the third person, um, we always need to make sure that you use the third person, if it's a, an action or an activity, okay? So for example, my best friend loves, you know, cooking as an example. Not, not like, when, like when you talk about yourself, I love, but my best friend, he or she, it doesn't matter. We always need to put that S in the third person, okay? And the same thing for he or for she is, okay? So when I talk about my best friend, my best friend Veronica, is friendly okay different than about myself right i am so these are just a couple of the tips in in the writing um always to remember the idea for the verb to be and always the idea also for uh, the third person with the s okay now as far as these vocabulary words what words do you think are the ones that probably are the ones that are most important for you that when you describe yourself Okay, so think about it, because always people ask you or people describe you, what are three words that would describe yourself? Okay, now I'm going to begin with Elizabeth, because I know Elizabeth was very talkative in her group, and I heard her. She had a lot of comments, of course, not all that she would say in the job interview. Um, we know, we know. But, <laughs> but Elizabeth, whatever, it doesn't have to be the same. What would be three adjectives that describe yourself? Elizabeth, you're on mute. You're on mute. Oh, sorry. Okay, I will say, um, well, like I said in the, in the chat, um, Temperamental, uh, sentimental, and uh, and um, um, I don't know how you say a uh, passionate. Passionate only with P. Uh -huh. Passionate. Passionate, yeah. Temperamental, passionate. Yeah. And what was the other one? I'm sorry. Sentimental. 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 Thank you, yeah. Mary. Thank you. Elizabeth, please choose the next person to describe themselves. Now, for the next person that describes, you cannot use what Elizabeth said. So each person is going to get more and more difficult and they have to think about synonyms or uh, antonyms or things like that. But go ahead, Elizabeth, choose the next person. Okay. Um, I don't know. Patricia Flamenco. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me, is describe... Um, describe yourself. I, okay. Um, I, I think uh, I am uh, modest and uh, easygoing. Great, Patricia. One more, one more word to describe you. Remember, there are three. So uh, three. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes so sociable. 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 
I like how you say sometimes. Sociable, but eh, sometimes. If not, temperamental. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, okay. Patricia, who is the next person? Remember, the next person cannot use the words that Patricia said or the words that Elizabeth said. Okay. Um, hmm, imagine the last person. I don't know what they're going to say. Arturo. <laughs> Arturo. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, when my friends talk about me, I think they are, they think that I am um uh outgoing person and happy and i really hope a really good singer ah okay <laughs> <laughs> a good singer you, you you are like the one that sings in the shower and then the shower sounds amazing I don't know. <laughs> and then yeah, when you yeah. and then when you go out i don't know the mic something my, is my wrong with the <laughs> <laughs> all right arturo all right good Arturo, choose one more person. We just want to make sure that it's clear for everybody. But the next person cannot use what the three people said. Okay. Um, let me share. Elizabeth Cortez. Okay. Hey, I did already. She was the, she was the first one. She was the first one. Um, let me see. Edwin Antonio Garcia. Ah. And even with the last, Edwin Antonio, it's like the teacher when you are in trouble. Edwin Antonio Garcia, you, you are volunteered. <laughs> like when your mother I just read the, the, the number. The, the name, the name. The name, the name. All right, Edwin. Okay. Uh, well, well, what people say about, him, about me is that I am a kind of talkative, talk, talk, talkative person. Is that correct? That is correct, talkative. Uh, and a little bit, how do you say bromista? No. Almost. Joker? Yes, yes, Eugenia, say it again. Joker. Yeah, a joker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and a little bit funny. Uh, yeah, just that. Okay. I think so. Okay. Great. And you can see, if you need to think about more adjectives, really you can. You, you, you have a lot. It's just a matter that sometimes you want to use the same ones. But if, if you are forced to think of and think of and think of, you can use it. So the best way is to try to think of those adjectives when you talk about your best friend. So in the 1.8, when you write, try to use the words that are not so common for you. That way you practice the new words. That way you practice other vocabulary that is not the common friendly, nice, talkative. Yes, maybe that fr your friend is this, but you want to use synonyms. You want to use antonyms. You want to use other words that help you expand your vocabulary. Because this is the only way you're going to get better is by using the other words. If you, you already know those words, kind, nice, you don't need to practice those. You need to practice the new ones. So when you do the 1.8 for writing about your best friend, remember, try to use different words than you normally do. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. I hope you have a great night. Thank you again for coming, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, see you. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Hey, everybody. Have a good night. You too. Have a good night. Hey, have a good night too. Hey, ladies. Oh, you're champion. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs>